Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the Access of Trader.com. A uh, nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is doing well. Uh, if you are brand new to the channel, guys, thank you very much for uh, joining us. Uh, coming aboard, all we ask is share a like, click a like, uh, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And hopefully we'll continue uh, to provide great day-to-day uh, -day, uh, value. Uh, I, before we get started, I, I want to apologize. My old computer died and my new computer just absolutely sucks. So we already ordered uh, another computer. For some reason, I, I don't know what it is. Uh, it's just causing, as you can see it by the video, uh, the system that we're running, Camtasia, takes up a lot of memory. And I'm not sure why this brand new computer with the bells and whistles uh, can't support it. So we're scrapping this one. We're getting a new one. Uh, and everything should be here by the weekend, the latest uh, the early part of next week. So I appreciate uh, you kind of bear with us and hopefully uh, it's not that much of a distraction. So we'll get that uh, fixed uh, very, very shortly. So uh, let's talk about the market, right? Uh, we had a big, big rally yesterday. Uh, the NASDAQ up uh, absolutely huge. Uh, today, it was just a nice orderly uh, rest day, right? If you look at the majority of names uh, that did very, very well yesterday, kind of rested today, where some did uh, price improve. The big one was NVIDIA. NVIDIA yesterday was up about 70 points. Uh, stock today was literally down 10 points. Uh, nice organic rest. We're still seeing uh, really aggressive 920s, 935s. We saw for next week, $1,000 calls. We saw 1,050 calls. Uh, that expire on 3 the 28th. So nice organic rest day uh, for NVIDIA. The key to NVIDIA going into tomorrow, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna go with some some chart to chart to kind of give you guys uh some more uh you know some more uh, ideas of what I'm looking at for tomorrow. Um if all it needs to do is get above yesterday's range. If it could get above yesterday's range and confirm it, you know, the stock was trading last night, this morning. Uh, in the 930s, it can start waking up again. Let's flip to the upside. The other side is Tesla, right? So Tesla, is, if you've been watching this broadcast, um, has been completely broken, like literally broken. Uh, the stock now closed at the lowest formation in this whole move. Uh, if you've been following this, as soon as the market, it lost the 50-day moving average, lost the 200-day moving average, blew up on earnings, and now we are sitting at broke the 170 level. We're starting to see a lot of put buyers coming in for short-term expiration, the 160 puts. Uh, we saw a whole slew of January 130 puts. I believe after the close, uh, it got downgraded. I think it was UBS, I'm not sure, uh, but it got downgraded uh, after the close. Microsoft, right? Let's talk about Microsoft. If you guys remember a couple of days ago, there was a senator who came out and bought a whole bunch of calls. You know, the whole running joke, the best fund managers uh, working in Congress, right? Nancy Pelosi is obviously uh, the Warren Buffett of traders in Congress. But I can't remember the gentleman's name. There's another congressman made a pretty big bet on Microsoft. Guys, watch Microsoft over the next, uh, I guess, couple of days, couple of weeks. It's very, very close to taking out the top of the channel here. We saw some 420 weeklies. We saw some 425 weeklies come in. This is starting to look really, really good. Uh, look at a name like VKTX, right? VKTX had this really, really aggressive big run, came in into the rising 20-day support. This is literally the first close above supply, okay? Really the first, they reclaimed back the five-day moving average. If it could... Up, if it can start confirming today's channel tomorrow, we can see a move back to the 78 level, which is the 10-day moving average. Really, really strong looking chart. Amazon, right? Amazon hasn't been like the other names that are going absolutely crazy, but it's holding its own. We saw some really good volume come in, uh, especially in the weekly 180 
uh, calls. Uh, when the market was selling off this morning, it held up very, very well. So keep an eye on Amazon, especially if it starts taking out uh, today's uh, highs tomorrow. Keep that in mind as well. Uh, look at TTD, right? So TTD came out with earnings uh, about a month ago, right? Came out with earnings about a month ago. It gapped out, it gap, gapped up and just went nothing but down. It's going sideways. As you can see here, it's held the bottom of the range here once, twice, three times, four times, five times. If TTD can finally lose the bottom of the range, this thing has a lot of room to fill in this gap all the way back down to 76, uh, 77. A smaller name you guys should watch. You know, keep an eye on this AISP. I don't know what this thing is, but, you know, I did see a move on this thing a couple of weeks ago. It had a big move, consolidation, put in a string of days of higher lows, higher highs. This is the highest close in this whole formation. Again, if this is your thing, keep an eye on this thing. If this thing starts building above today's range, you could have another move. It looks really, really good. Look at Crowdsource. Uh, Crowdsource came out with earnings, had a big quarter, really, really big quarter compared to like Pan W and Snow. Uh, that really blew up. It came back in, held the bottom of the range three times. Watch this thing for tomorrow. If it can start taking out today's channel tomorrow, it could be really, really good. Another wave of potential buying. Stocks that had dead cat balances today, uh, had dead cat balances the last three days. One of them was Apple. We talked about this, I think in the second to last video. Again, all this was, guys, was a dead cat bounce. It hit the 10 day moving average three days in a row put in lower highs, lower lows. If this thing could start losing back the five-day moving average, it should start to get hit again. Again, remember, all this was is a dead cat bounce uh, into the next supply zone. So definitely, definitely keep an eye on Apple for the next couple of, of days. Uh, Meta, right? Meta uh, had a little bit of a pop today after a little bit of profit taking. Um, I believe Congress is very close, or maybe they did... Um, I think they're passing a disinvestment act for uh, TikTok, which obviously is bad for TikTok, but it's good for Meta. Keep an eye on this for the next couple of days. It's been getting rejected off the five-day moving average uh, for the last five, the last two days. If they could start reclaiming back uh, the five-day moving average uh, for tomorrow, maybe this thing wakes up and starts heading higher. So this thing looks uh, really, really good. Uh, as well. Uh, other th other names that are starting to get really strong, uh, Square had a really, really big uh, day today. Uh, took out its whole earnings move. Uh, this is the highest close in the whole formation. And the most important part, and this is the take uh, coming into this market, is even the days that we're resting, because yesterday we had a really, really aggressive update, but even the days that we're resting, the there are plenty of names that are still waking up, rotation are going into those names, and we're still continuing to take highs. Today, it wasn't a lot of pivots. As you can imagine, after a big rest day, there wasn't a lot of pivots today, but the ones that did well, did well. Um, we were primarily trading balances today uh, on NVIDIA. Uh, Tesla, you know, Tesla had a, a pretty, pretty big move uh, into the close. Here's one of the very few pivots that actually confirmed today. Uh, Tesla, 172.40, if it builds below, uh, can flush. Here it was Tesla, right? Here is Tesla, it took out the 72.40, closed at the low of the day. Stock is trading you know, down about 60, 70 cents uh, after the close. I'd like to see this thing confirmed tomorrow for another leg down. Again, a lot of in, a lot of in the money and a deep out of the money puts are really starting to come in this thing, especially the January uh, 130 puts. So nice move, you know, nice move today on Tesla. TTD held, Meta didn't confirm. AMD didn't confirm, Carvana didn't confirm, Microsoft gapped up but didn't confirm the 419 level. Uh, Amazon confirmed and put in its highest close in the whole formation. Uh, 176.76 needs to build. Uh, here is uh, Amazon, right? So it took out the 176.76, went up about a dollar. Again, this is the highest close in the whole formation. Let's see if it could confirm today's price action for tomorrow. Uh, NVIDIA obviously never got back to the 920 level. And this was definitely the big one point-wise today, not named uh, not named uh, NVIDIA or anything else. Square, again, like we mentioned a couple of minutes ago, Square 84 needs to build. Here is Square, right? Took out the 84, went all the way up to uh, 87.52. I like this thing, looks 
uh, higher for tomorrow. I think tomorrow, if the Bulls can hold serve, right, and the Bears can't get any traction on NVIDIA, I mean, look, yesterday this thing was up 70. Today it's up 10. This is called a classic inside day. You can see the volume today was much smaller than yesterday. Uh, again, $10 to the downside versus 70 points to the upside. Again, the key is if they could confirm yesterday's channels tomorrow, we should get a move back into this 940s, 950s area. And it's definitely uh, something that I'm watching uh, very, very closely for tomorrow. So the big ones for tomorrow, if Tesla could confirm today's channels to the downside, you shove the next leg down. NVIDIA, if you think it could confirm so yesterday's channel could really start stretching. And I am definitely, definitely watching Microsoft for a multi-month uh, breakout. Again, if you guys can do your own due diligence, I forgot the gentleman's name, but a congressman did buy a whole slew of uh, call options on Microsoft. We all know the last time a congressperson not named, well, not named Pelosi's husband, uh, did the same thing. We saw what happened there. So guys, God bless. I appreciate everybody's uh, patience. Uh, again, technology is the gift and the curse. I had a computer for 10 years, for God's sake, right? Had no issues with it. As soon as the damn thing broke, and all I did was literally put uh, Camtasia on it, which is a great software for video recording, nightly videos, and all that stuff. But it's amazing that a 10-year-old computer was more powerful than something that I just literally bought on Saturday. Good fittings, good riddance. We'll get a new one uh, again this weekend. Guys, have a great night. God bless. And I will, God's help, we'll see you all tomorrow. Take care.